<laughs> oh, they caught us talking about flabby necks and thighs, didn't I, they? They did. <laughs> well, good morning and welcome to today's episode of the South Padre Island Chamber Today Show. Yes, good morning, everyone. Yeah, it's a beautiful day on South Padre Island. Had a little glitch the uh, night before last, a nasty little storm <laughs> in the middle of the night. But uh, it's beautiful now. Nasty is a nice word. Yes, I could think of a few more that uh, I wouldn't yeah. say on camera. But uh, I'm Alita Bagley. I'm the president of the South Padre Island Chamber, and this is my partner in crime. This is her official title now, uh, Diane Harville, who is the Diane Diane Nah. Hey, I'm sorry. It, it's only been 20 years we've been working together. I don't know. You better be glad my mother didn't hear that. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Would yeah. yeah. She wouldn't that like that, would she? <laughs> yes, I am Diana. Diana. <laughs> I am the marketing director at the chamber. And yes, I, I put up with this. Yes, well, you, you know. You can't remember my name, but that's okay. You don't have much choice anymore. <laughs> so um, we are in a great place today. Um, I want you to look at this uh, beautiful pop-up sign over here. That's me. Oh, not really. Uh, we know who that is because yeah, she me. is. Yeah, <laughs> it's Diane. <laughs> yeah, it's Diane. <laughs> well, we are here at SPI Sessions today, and we are going to visit with a wonderful young lady, a new mother, by the way. The baby. I haven't seen the baby. Not here. here. Oh, darn. Aaron, you should have brought the baby. That would have been fun. He needs to have his first visit to the chamber. That's office. right pictures. That's right. You know what happens when you show up at the chamber to get pictures. You, Diana's going to, oh, Diana, not Diane. She's <laughs> going to blast them all over, all over social, social media. media. So, that's right. So we'll have to get her to bring that baby. Definitely. That cute darling baby. Okay, so um, we're going to call Erin here and we're going to look around this great place that mm -hmm. she has created and talk a little about what she does. And she's got some exciting things going on. She has brought yeah. so much into this community in the last, I don't know, 10 years. Uh, she is amazing. So Diana, if I can throw you out and you go get behind the camera, please. You always do. I know, week I know. After week after week. Get out, Diane, right I like now. It here, I can shop though. <laughs> so Erin, <laughs> come on over. How are you, dear? I am well. Oh, we're so happy to be here and thank Thanks you so for much for taking me. time out to, of your busy schedule. Yeah, no problem. I'm excited to be here. So you have done an amazing job. Thank you. Tell me uh, a little history how this came. Now, tell me what you started doing. Sure. So SPA Sessions was uh, started in 2016 as a kid's summer camp. Right, okay. And so um, that was kind of just the idea was I wanted to work with kids. Mm -hmm. I was still a traveling athlete at the time, so mm -hmm. I was coming home to uh, try something new out, mm -hmm. um, try out, you know, this type of entrepreneurship, mm -hmm. and I really liked what I was doing. Mm -hmm. um, truth be told, you know, I probably shouldn't have been running my business out of the, the garage of my condo. That's but, safe. Um, We're not that's, telling. <laughs> <laughs> I just did. It's fine. Um, it's in the history, and it was just a learning step and mm -hmm. growing and understanding. And so I kept reinvesting and um, expanded the Surf's Up Science Summer Camp. Mm -hmm. And um, at some point, um, decided I wasn't going to travel as much mm -hmm. and be closer to family. And so um, I started a year-round business for surfing lessons, stand-up paddle boarding, and um, environmental education endeavors. Mm -hmm. And um, in the last couple of years, that expanded into a shop, which okay. was always a dream of mine. Mm -hmm. um, and so when the stars aligned and I was able to um, you know, have this opportunity, it expanded into other types of water sports. Mm -hmm. So. Um, that came with jet skis and kayaks, and uh, and so it's been pretty cool experience, even expand, expanding in the merchandising um, of things too. Right, you have wonderful so. <laughs> merchandise. I found one of these, so yeah. I got that on. But yes, you have a full line of merchandise, and it's just great with your logos on it. And thank you, I, I love it. And so you're still doing the summer camps. Yes. Okay. So summer camp this year, um, last year, um, as you know, I was pregnant, so mm -hmm. I was a little bit hands off. But uh, left the summer camp in very capable, awesome uh, hands of professionals. Um, they're really great people, mm -hmm. um, but they're amazing surfers. Mm -hmm. You know, professionally, they're commercial real estate um, teachers. Mm -hmm. um, 
you know, so, uh, you know, they, they just did such a wonderful job. They're returning this year and we're hoping to expand the camp um, maybe to another location. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's quite ambitious, but we're excited. And last year was just such a hit. It was so nice. I was, um, I was past 40 weeks and on the beach taking pictures and it was wonderful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, well, the summer camps I know are great. And you know, when people, I mean, you have people that live here. So, so many of the kids have already been through your summer camps. Mm -hmm. My grandchildren have. Yeah. Uh, but when visitors come mm -hmm. and they have these activities for kids, you know, we want to be a really f family friendly destination. Right. And what you're doing makes it so much more family friendly because the, the people can take their kids to a camp, but they're also learning. They're learning right. so much. And they're so. learning a lot about, you know, not only just surfing, but mm -hmm. what we, we call our instructors beach life instructors mm -hmm. because we're showing them. Um, also oceanography, a little bit of marine mm -hmm. life, a mm -hmm. little bit of ocean safety. Mm -hmm. So they develop a comfortability in the ocean. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of these kids, you know, they, they're just scared of the ocean. Sure. There's sharks, the right. waves are big, mm -hmm. you know, all these things. Mm -hmm. But when they're around other kids, they, it really helps encourage their confidence. Mm -hmm. Well, that's fantastic. So let's look around the sure. shop just a little bit. Yeah. Uh, so we've got all sorts of surfboards. Are these what you use um, in uh, your classes? So this is a stand-up paddle board that's for sale. This is a um, long board that's for sale. Mm -hmm. We hope to expand into some kayaks okay. um, to, for sale as well. Mm -hmm. um, this is my personal stand-up paddle board, but it has a really cool surf boost that we're trying to oh. um, incorporate. Oh, in. well, so, that's, that's exciting. Yeah. And your all this merchandise, great shirts and caps. Yeah, a lot of Salt Life. They mm -hmm. um, are a wonderful brand yes, that, yes. that supports me, and I mm -hmm. likewise um, love supporting Salt Life. So and so, all these are for sale. All of these are for sale. Mm -hmm. These are more like the uh, boards that we use in camp. Okay. Um, the McFanning lineup. So the longer the easier to learn? Typically. Okay. Um, and the more volume, easier to learn. Mm -hmm. And then as the kids advance, we also have soft top uh, covered short boards that mm -hmm. actually are a performance board inside of them. So those okay. are really great. Um, over here we have some of our surf gear. We have our SPA Sessions tank tops, mm -hmm. um, deck pads, tails, wax, um, pickle wax removers, and even pe boogie boards. A lot All of right. people, a lot of visitors like that. Yes, um, yes. This is a wall of Ala Macrame. She's an artist um, out of Brownsville. She's a teacher and she kind of does this on the side, but yeah. I would, I'm ambitious to, uh, to have kids clothing, kids mm -hmm. uh, bathing suits, and mm -hmm. things for mothers. Mm -hmm. um, so some of this was kind of inspired by that idea. Okay, well that's nice that you're carrying things like that too. Yeah, we have Sensi bikinis in here. She's a sustainable, eco-friendly mm -hmm. um, swimwear company. Well, she doesn't cover enough. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, some of our some of our new SPI sessions shirts uh -huh. are over here. Um, and then, you know, typical things that people want to take on the water. They might right. need a dry bag while they're on the wet mm -hmm. uh, jet ski. Okay, and so you've got your board up here. Diana, you want to, let's look at all the things they do. Jet skis, jet ski tours. Jet ski tours. Oh, how nice. Um, that's been really popular. The mm -hmm. SpaceX jet ski tour, for example. Um, we take the... We take our guests from our Bayside location mm -hmm. all the way uh, under the causeway, past mm -hmm. the Coast Guard Station, into the International Fairway, mm -hmm. into South Bay, and then um, we get so close that at some points we've been able to uh, beach our skis and walk up to the road and take How pictures in front of the rocket. How fun is that? So it's a really great experience. We also, you know, educate them about SpaceX mm -hmm. and um, the journey that we've been on mm -hmm. um, alongside um, SpaceX. So. Elon, did you hear that? We're educating <laughs> our visitors about SpaceX. That's right. So other things that we do, we have single kayaks, paddle boards, surfboard rentals, double kayaks. Um, the kayak rentals and paddle boards you um, can be out on the water for up to three hours, mm -hmm. which is really great price, $35, and you can Whoa, be out on the water for right, three hours. Right. I'd also like to mention that Wednesdays, which is tonight, mm -hmm. um, we do Women on the Water. Okay. And so this has inspired um, local women typically to come out and um, be just social on the water, do exercise, mm -hmm. maybe try yoga on their stand-up paddleboard, and it's free. How so fun everybody's is that? welcome. This is, I think, our fifth 
week. Uh huh. So when someone paddle boards, do you do you, if they've never done it and they rent one, do you have to go out there and teach them, or is it pretty easy? So you can also book a lesson, okay. and we can uh, go with you and give a guided lesson. Um, otherwise, we do give everybody a rundown, mm -hmm. um, okay. safety overview, mm -hmm. and also just this is this is how you make this mm -hmm. work. <laughs> right. Okay. I would love to try paddle boarding. Yeah. I've tried surfing, and it wasn't pretty. <laughs> but um, well, you know what? Could we maybe walk outside yeah, because let's do I that. know that you've got some other things to see. Diana, can you follow us? And so, um, have you taught the baby to, to uh, surf yet? Well, it's been quite cold, <laughs> okay. but um, Brixton really, um, in the last Texas State Surf Contest that we went to, um, he did jump in the water, oh. and actually that was here. It was in, it was in South Padre, uh -huh. and he loved it. Oh, how exciting. He was just laughing at the waves, and Aww. yesterday I took him to the skateboard park. Uh-huh and put him on a skateboard. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so he was kind of in between my legs and right. hanging out. How cute. Look at me. this, Diana. I don't think that, I, I was shocked when I saw this, that you have this much beautiful space here out on the water and with this gorgeous view. Look at that view up the channel. It is so pretty. So um, I see that you've got, you keep your kayaks out here. Of course, you have your jet skis. Uh, and so much room, and I love what you've built over there to, to um, store your kayaks. So do you have some plans for this? Sure, you wanna walk over? Sure, over let's there? go. Uh, the plans for it maybe would be to expand into an outdoor retailer location. That uh -huh. way people that um, maybe have been storing a kayak that they're not using very mm -hmm. often, or maybe they're selling their home, mm -hmm. have an option to, um, to really kind of pawn it off on us to help okay. them sell. Right. It also helps uh, with people that come here don't want to buy a brand new kayak sure. or yeah. paddleboard have mm -hmm. an opportunity to just buy something that they can use occasionally. Right. Um, we're also developing a subscription program. So uh -huh. if somebody um, would like to come out and uh, paddleboard twice a week, mm -hmm. they've decided they want to start paddleboarding, um, they can pay a uh, monthly subscription where they can come out and use the paddleboard. Um, as many times as they'd, well, they'd would like. Well, that would be really good. Yes. And obviously have, um, you know, a, a great opportunity to just be right on the water when mm -hmm. they launch. Right, right. And these are all your jet skis? Yes, we have eight jet skis um, in the water. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we're excited potentially to even expand our fleet just a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, jet skis are really the primary at the location, but mm -hmm. We have rather large groups that come out to do paddle boarding and kayaking with mm -hmm, us too. Mm -hmm. And I think that tour, that jet ski tour is just the coolest thing. Because so many people that come here, um, if they don't have a boat, you know, they, it's really difficult to get out on the water and, and just even ride down, you know, along through town and under the causeway. It's so beautiful. Right. So that's so cool that you provide that opportunity with these tours. Well, um, Erin, I'm so glad that we were able to come Me and too. see all the Thank exciting you all things. You're, I mean, I've been watching you for 20 years. I right. know your daddy very well, yeah. a wonderful man. And I'm so um, proud of what you've built. Thank you. I really am. Um, you've stuck with things, you know, things have changed a little bit, but I think you have really found your niche. Thank you. And, and yeah. again, I want to say that I think that you and what you're doing has made our community a better place a better place to live and a better place to visit. That means a lot. It's yeah. really, I feel like, um, I feel like it's, it's been, a, it took a lot of time to, to build this to, you know, where it is now. And um, it's great to, it's great to be here. And we're so along. proud to have you as a chamber member. Thank you. And we want to grow and expand with you. Thank you. So thanks again, Erin. And Anita. you all make sure and come and visit Erin <laughs> and see that cute little baby when he's here. Take a jet ski <laughs> tour, learn yeah. how to paddle board. Learn how to kayak. There's so much to do here. So make sure you stop by SPI Sessions. And what's your address? 5717 Padre Boulevard. All righty. And I also want to mention that if you're interested in coming to the summer camp this summer, uh, make sure to use code SPI Chamber 5 and receive a discount. There you go. We like that. All right. Well, we will see you all next week. And thanks for joining us today. Bye. Bye.